In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to start by showing you different ways of drawing roads and different tool sets that you can use to modify how your roads are drawn. We'll start by the simplest option, which is just to click on the default roads tool here. So we'll click on that and then you can come to your map, left click to start drawing a road. And then you can position the next corner of your road and the next corner of your road and so forth to create a nice default squiggly road that you can see here. Now that default road style, the way that it's drawn, the thickness of the road will differ depending upon the map uh, uh, settings that you've got loaded up. In other words, the template will define what that default road is. What happens though, if you want to draw a different sort of road? Well, instead of left clicking on the default road icon here, you can right click on it and it'll bring up this menu of the various road styles that you've got, the different drawing tools that you've got. Now we'll, uh, you can see that's the default road there that you've got. Let's say we wanted to draw a 20 foot paved road, this one here, where you just click on that and then let's draw that one underneath it, like so, following a similar curve line. You can see that this road is quite a bit thicker than the default. In other words, on this particular map, the default road is 10 foot, but you can select a 20 foot map. Well, what would happen if you wanted to draw a different style of road entirely? Well, you could right click on it again and you could select maybe a five foot dirt road and we'll draw that one along like so. So great, now you know how to select different widths and different styles, different fills of roads. In fact, if we zoom in on those roads, you'll actually see they've got quite unique structure to the roads, like so. But of course, roads don't just get drawn in individual lines. They loop, they connect to each other and so forth. Now, this is why you're going to want to use a number of other tools here, the attach tool and potentially, uh, in fact, definitely, these modifier tools here. Now let's explore each one. If you wanted to connect another road onto the end of say this five foot road here, there's two ways of doing it. You can use the attach tool by setting this on when you go to draw your road and then, or you can use this tool here, which is called the endpoint modifier. Let's go to our road drawing tool and select a five foot dust road to connect onto our dirt road here. And we'll do it with the endpoint modifier first. So you select the line, the road that you're drawing first. So we're in that draw mode. You then select this modifier. Now, if I bring my mouse, in fact, I'm going to zoom in so you can absolutely see what we're doing here. You can see I can move my cursor onto the near the end of this line. You could try and eyeball it and get it exactly right, but it doesn't matter with the once you've got the endpoint modifier turned on. You click on it and you can see our road is now connecting to the end of that. And if we draw it, you can now see we've got a nice even join between these two roads. Now, the other way of drawing this is to use the attach tool here, which will connect two lines together. So for example, if I click on this and I click on the dust tool and I click on attach, I can now draw my road and if I bring it back up to here and I've still got my attach turned on, it will automatically connect. So the attach tool is great when you want to attach a road to multiple endpoints of other roads. Um, that's great for joining multiple roads together. I'm going to undo that one because that's a bit dull and turn off the attach. The next type of tool that you've got is the on tool. That's a really useful one. Let's say we wanted to have a road connect onto the edge of this one. So again, we'll use the five foot road. If I was trying to get this to match up perfectly, you can see I could leave it a little bit overlapped. But if I go for a five foot dirt road and I use the on tool, then you can pretty much guarantee that they're going to connect perfectly, even if you're clicking skills aren't quite accurate. So endpoint and on are your two friends. There's another really useful tool, which is this one, which is the midpoint. So again, let's take a, a road and let's make it a uh, another five foot road. And let's say you wanted to connect it right in the middle of those two points. And it would jump, as you saw there, to the middle of our two road points. Again, let's just do that again. We'll select our road drawing tool, five foot road there. We'll click on the midpoint. 
And even if I select a little bit further down the line where the, where the center of the road is, you'll actually see it jumps to a point equidistant between those two lines. So that's a great way of getting your roads perfectly lined up through the middle of each other. The next type of tool that you might wanna use is the intersection tool, this one right here. And what that will do is if you have, and we'll, we'll draw a road here, we'll connect it with the on tool first, and let's say we want another road to connect right there. So we could, again, select our dirt road, select the intersection tool. It will join onto that intersection like so. And finally, there is, I'm gonna control, let's just remove those. There we go, redraw the map. And finally, there is the perpendicular tool, which lets you draw a 90 degree angle. Let's say we're drawing a road here and we want it to meet at a perfect 90 degree angle to the section. You'd use the perpendicular modifier. You'd click on the line. It's snapping, as you can see, it's forcing itself to there and then we'll right click and done. And you've got a lovely 90 degree angle for your road. So those are really useful what we call modifier tools. Use the modifier when you're just connecting one end of a line to another line, or one end of a road to another road, or an end of the road to the middle of a road, or somewhere along the road and so forth. Use those five modifiers there. And if you're attaching multiple lines of the road together, just use the attach tool, this little button here and switch it on. It's sort of like permanently turning on um, this endpoint function here. Now, there is another useful thing that you'll need to know how to do, which is to change the width of roads. Let's say you've drawn this uh, five foot road that we've got here, this dirt road, and you want it to be much wider. The quickest way of modifying that road is to use this tool here, the change property tool. So you click on it, you select the road that you want to change the width of. You can see that you've got one entity, meaning one road selected. You right click, you click and do it. And then we could change that. And let's change the line width in this case, and let's make it 25. Let's make it a really big road. Bingo. You can also use the change modifier tool, clicking on it again, to change a whole bunch of roads all at the same time. So what I've done there is I've selected three roads. I right click, do it. And now I can select the line width to say, we'll make them all 7.5 feet. And then if you were to refresh that, you can see all of these roads are now the same width. Another really useful uh, option of the change property tool is to change the uh, fill or the, the look of your roads. So I'm gonna select all of those three roads here. I'm going to right click, do it. And then I'm going to change the fill style to say dirt one and click Okay, and you can see that these have now all been changed to a dirt style of road. If we were to zoom in on those, we can see that they're all sort of like a sandy dirt road. So heaps of ways of using the modifier tool to change one or more roads at one time. Another really useful tool, once you've mapped out your roads, you might decide that a bunch of them need to be uh, a different color or a different texture or a different width. Okay, so that's it. That's everything you need to know about drawing and modifying roads at this point. Let's now go on to actually implementing those skills in our map. See you in the next tutorial.